Welcome to my fourth video in my Just Dread Miniature Games Starter Set Unboxing. That's a mouthful if you ever started it. Now, um, we have the Justice Department today. This Justice Department box actually comes in the box set, but it is the standard Justice Department box. So you can either get this as the Justice Department box or in the actual box set. Um, but that's blather, I'm just letting you know. And these are the judges. You get eight judges in total, or rather six judges and two trainee judges. And here are the judges. And I'm going to run through all of them and let you know what I think and give you my views on the, on the figures. So these guys are the rookies, the trainee judges. And they look quite cool. You get a female judge our trainee judge here and a male trainee judge. They're wearing basic judge's armour, you know, basic judge's gear, but a lot smaller, a lot less padded, and they're just basically rookies. They're armed with pistols and have all the other kit in their pockets and stuff, I suppose. They're quite nice little figures, I like these guys. Um, I, actually, I would like to get a few dozen of them and do a sort of training day type of thing, but uh, that would prove rather expensive. So as basic rookies that you can send in first to get killed, or just as supports for your judges, then these guys are really cool. And they paint up really well easily. You may notice that uh, my judges are all painted kind of dark and grungy, whereas most people seem to paint them shiny and gold and happy. And I don't think judges should be happy and gold and shiny. Uh, there's nothing wrong with painting the street gangs with a bit of colour, but judges, well, they're pretty serious people. I mean, they really do take their job seriously. You know, they shoot people and stuff for a living. I mean, it's kind of their job. And they have to deal with a lot of bad stuff. So I wanted them to look more realistic. And so grungy and dark and gritty is the way I wanted to go with it. Having said that, I painted their helmets white. So that makes them look like rookies because they haven't really got down to the point of being grungy and wearing a dark helmet with a dark visor. Instead they have a happy light blue visor and white helmets. So they're nice little figures and I quite like them, they're cool. So we will move on to our next figures. Now here are the riot judges and these guys are awesome. These guys look like really heavy duty soldiers. I'll start with this guy first. I have given him a shiny sort of electrified baton in his hand with sort of lightning going all over it. I kind of thought that looked good. I wouldn't think that a judge would walk around with a perfectly normal nightstick to beat people around the head. He's going to want to electrocute them. He's got a rather funky shield, which I haven't actually done much with. I've just paint, basically painted the shield in basic colours and just left it. Um, I kind of think the shield should be really transparent, so I've put a bit of blue tinge into it to make it look like it could be a sort of semi-transparent perspex or it could be metal. So there you go. His shoulder pads are different from the normal judges. They're sort of heavy duty armour type, type of... They, they look like heavy duty armour or spread wings and they look really cool. Now the other guy is this guy here. He's got a foam gun uh, on his back is a huge pack to carry the foam stuff in and I've got an electrified rod. I realised that the rod wouldn't actually be electrified while he was walking around with it in his pocket. However, I did it all electrified just to make a point that he had one. But that's just semantics. And here's the guy I painted his, um, the foamy stuff, sort of a green colour, if I stop knocking the figures over. And I just wanted it to look quite snotty and something that you wouldn't want to be sprayed with. Uh, the helmets themselves are a sort of modification of the normal judges helmets which is cool because they look a lot more scary like they should do if they riot judges. The idea of riot judges is these guys are there to put down a riot rather than just look shiny. So yeah I like these guys. I've done them really really grungy, really dark. I've made them look quite evil looking. I've used a lot of dark colours on them. I've used three tones of green to get the boots and the armour to look um, quite good and yeah these clothes, these guys are cool. So now on to the next one. 
Now here we have the heavy weapons judge, and this guy is awesome! Actually, I don't actually think he's that awesome. The pose is sort of alright, but the way he holds the gun looks a little bit cheesy. It's the only actual down thing I've found to any of the figures in the box. Um, he do, the gun does look a little bit silly on it, on the end of his arm. Uh, there are two guns you get in the box. One of them is a machine gun and the other one is a kind of laser rifle or maybe you can use it as a sniper rifle. And it's it's okay. Uh, the gun's okay. The, the figure itself is generally okay. He just doesn't really look very well posed. But it's the only downside I've found of any of the figures in the box. He's also the worst of base. But other than that, you know. Uh, so there's his gun. I've put little a little counter on the side of the gun so he knows how many bullets he's got left and uh, overall he's alright um, I painted him in the same grungy, grungy sort of colours to make him look nice and grungy and messy um, given the pose of the figure I was going to put some rubbish at his feet but then again that would have looked silly so that's the heavy weapons judge he may have looked slightly better if I gave him the machine gun, but for the game I really wanted him to some, have something like a laser rifle because I wanted something high powered and slightly better than the machine gun. Uh, after all, the lawgiver is pretty awesome anyway, and everyone's armed with what lawgivers. And we've also got the foam gun with the riot judges, so this one's okay. And here we have a sight judge. Judge Anderson kind of judge. Uh, sight judge looks really cool. She is very well posed and she actually looks like she's messing with someone's head with all that evil, nasty, telepathic ability that sight judges have. I'll just turn her around so you can see. She's wearing the standard armour, although it's a bit lighter fitting and a bit more lightweight. She is a side judge after all. And of course she's not wearing a helmet because helmets interfere with psychic powers. So probably easier to hit. Then again she's surrounded by psychic fields and stuff, so maybe not. She's quite a nice little figure and she's really well posed and I like this one. The suit is the same as the suit all the other judges wear. The gloves are slightly less cumbersome and the feet of the judge are the same as the other judges. So yeah, it looks like quite a cool figure. And she certainly looks nice and grungy and in action, as all the figures do. They all, they all generally seem to be about to do something or that none of them are actually standing around not doing anything. And it's quite well posed, this figure and even the little fingers are spread out, which is even cooler on a 28mm figure. And now we have the pièce de résistance. Street Judges. And this one I have is Judge Dread. Sorry, I have to speak like that when I say Judge Dread. It's just a thing. It's, it's like a nervous tick I've got. I do apologise. I'm going to be using him as Judge Dread, and he's quite cool. Um, I like this guy. He's like stomping forward. He looks like he seriously means business. Slightly cartoony pose, but you know, if he saw, saw him walking towards you dressed like that with that gun in his hand, you're going to do more or less anything he tells you. He's a judge. You're not going to mess with him. And then you get this other judge. The other judge is carrying two pistols. Or two lawgivers, should I say. Now one lawgiver will ruin your day, no matter who you are or what you're wearing. Uh, two lawgivers, well, that's just pain, just walking towards you. So, hey, give up. Why bother fighting? I'll show you the back of him. Um, he's actually stood on a small piece of rubble, which is cool. I was going to snip the rubble off and have him stood on a piece of floor decoration, but I decided to just leave it as it is. And he, he's a cool figure too. Basically, these are two box standard street judges that you get in the box. And they are quite nice looking figures. They're going to be seeing a lot of action. Basically, uh, no matter what army you put together, or what gang you put together, you're going to need a couple of street judges in each gang, which means you're always going to have these guys on the table. So these are pretty awesome figures. And, of course, as I'm going to be playing Dread, and my rather small annoying son is going to be playing the street gang, then I can see that I'm going to have a lot of victories with these characters you can see in front of you. Is that right? No. Yeah, I think it is. Not in. It is. Because I have... Yeah, it is. Yeah, there you go. See? It's made my point. Totally. 
Although I do have a plan to make some zombies later, so maybe it won't be that fun. No, Judge. Yeah? I'm not saying I'm going to be playing the zombies, I'll let you play them. Shoot for the head, it's cool. You just like me losing, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to have you losing a game as opposed to winning all the time. <laughs> right, so, here is the judges. Did I do all that stuff? I did! So I've co completely gone back on myself. And that's the judge box set. The entire Justice Department Mega City Judges. So, as I said before, the uh, Justice Department Mega City Judges box set actually comes with the um, starter set. So you can get it all together in one job lot. Or you can get the box set separately. And this is basically what you get in the box. I'll give you an overall rundown of all the figures in the box. And I hope it's been useful to you. Especially if you're planning to do Judge Red. And, and if you're not, I just hope you enjoy the video. I think altogether they do look really grungy. And I use, keep using the word grungy. I mean sort of dark and mysterious and grungy. Is grungy the right word? No, Miss no, um, no, no, it, it is. Shut darkened. Up. Darkened. Darkened. Yes, they look dark. Mm. Dark. Dread. Why is my dress called Dread? Well, yeah, it does kind of cause fear. Actually, he's a clone of all the big wig judges. I think he needs to read the book. Comic, dear. It's a comic. <laughs> anyway, now. Um, How many? Quite a few. Oh, okay, well, then. Yeah, I used to read Judge Dredd when I was his age, so, you know, that means my parents were probably dysfunctional. Now, we have all of those judges there in the box set, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed my painting. I've certainly enjoyed painting them up. And one thing I did find tedious was doing the bases, because I did the bases for the first two figures I did, which are the bonus figures you get in the box set. And I've ended up having to do the bases for all of them, which means whenever I do something just ready, I'm going to have to do the bases. So I have made a, a simple job much harder for myself, but it's worth it in the end, because I do think they look really cool. So I will, in I will add some slides of all the figures and everything at the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like and subscribe and leave any comments you like, especially about the really awesome painting on this guy here, because he's cool. And that's thank you from me.